So, you don't like fruits and veggies. You think they taste terrible, that they look disgusting, and that you'd be better off if you never ate them again. Or better yet, never started eating them at all. Now there's a thought. What if you never ate fruits and veggies? We're talking from the time you were a baby all the way up to adulthood. What would this do to your body? What problems would you encounter? Are there any benefits? Let's ask our buddy here, Foodie the Food Pyramid. Get ready to shrink, Foodie, because today we are taking fruits and vegetables out of the equation to see what happens to the human body. Let's go to Foodie the Food Pyramid and take a look at just how much of these healthy snacks make up our recommended daily dose. Thanks for helping us out here, Foodie. As we can see right on Foodie's belly, 35% of a healthy diet should consist of fruits and vegetables. Now, when you hear it like that, it's kind of hard to understand just how much that is. So, let's think of it this way. 35% is roughly five portions, and a single portion is just about 80 grams. So, what are the benefits of eating this many fruits and vegetables? We're glad you asked. Check this out. Fruits and vegetables are a fantastic source of vitamins and minerals. They are where we get folate, vitamin C, and potassium which are all needed to keep you healthy and strong and keep your immune system running at peak performance. You will also get the perfect amount of your recommended dietary fiber from sticking to this five portions a day way. Dietary fiber keeps your gut in top-notch shape and you'll be less likely to become constipated. And in the long term, you'll be less likely to develop bowel cancer. But the benefits don't stop there, Brainiacs. Fruits and vegetables lower your chance of getting heart disease and stroke as well. They're delicious and nutritious and are the perfect side to your meals. We're glad to hear that you like them so much. Oh, you don't like them. Oh boy. Well, certainly some people may not be down with the decision of sticking to this five a day plan. On top of that, there are some people who flat out just don't eat their fruits and veggies at all. So what does this do to the body? How about the brain? What would it do to old foodie here? Let's go to the science books for this one and start right from the beginning and imagine a life without fruits and vegetables. If you just straight up never ate your fruits and vegetables starting from the time you were a baby, you might actually be able to get by a few years no problem. Infants exclusively drink breast milk for the first six months of their lives and even then, it's not unheard of for some moms to breastfeed their kids for the first year or two of their lives. The World Health Organization recommends starting babies on eating other foods, which includes pureed fruits and vegetables, at around that six-month-old mark. But technically, you could get away with living the sans vegetable life as a baby. But as you continue to grow, you'd start to wish you were eating those greens. And here's why. Now that you're a kid and have moved on to a solid food diet, your lack of fruits and veggies would start to catch up with you. You'd be more prone to digestive disorders like constipation, diverticulosis, and hemorrhoids. This is because greens contain cellulose, which helps with keeping you regular. Without cellulose and, of course, the natural fiber vegetables contain, you'd experience bloating and weight gain. Speaking of weight gain, this would be a problem that continues through to your teens and beyond. Fruits and veggies are an incredible source of vitamins and minerals. I mean, there is a reason they are such a big part of our buddy Foodie the Food Pyramid here. Every day of your teens and early adulthood would be a struggle too. You would constantly have low energy and you would have a really weak immune system. Expect to get sick much more often and have a longer recovery time as well. Now that you're grown, get ready for some more permanent side effects to the no fruit and veggie life. It's been proven that the lack of iron in your system from cutting out greens can cause hair loss and your lack of vitamin B would cause constant dry skin and you'd have little cracks in the corner of your mouth too. Not fun and not very becoming of you either. But all these exterior problems are nothing compared to the up to risk of heart disease and cancer and increased chance of vision loss. See, fruits and veggies give your body the tools it needs to protect your cells from DNA damage, reduce inflammation, and also fight off any potentially cancer-causing substances in your system. I mean, let's put it bluntly, you'd be miserable. Just a sad sack of low-energy miserableness. But let's be a bit more realistic here. Most people haven't gone their whole lives without eating their greens. What if you just 
you know, stopped now. Like all of a sudden, just right now, right as you are, what if you stopped eating fruits and vegetables? Mood swings would most likely be the first thing you would experience. The lack of glucose and carbs would affect your brain, and you wouldn't be running in your top form. And on top of now being miserable to be around, you'd have trouble focusing too. The lack of fiber would certainly hit you as well, and you'd very likely lose your, uh, regularity, if you know what we mean. Here's the other immediate side effect you would feel. Food just wouldn't be as filling, and you'd crave much more than what your body most likely needs. The high fiber and water content that are found in those greens keep you nice and full for longer. So if you're not eating fruits and vegetables, you just aren't going to be as satisfied with your meals. And that means you're going to keep on eating. And that can mean some pretty significant weight gain. In fact, studies have shown that there is a direct link between a person's weight and their consumption of fruits and veggies. The more you eat them, the smaller the circumference of your waist. And hey, what can we say? There's a reason the old adage is an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Although we'd recommend changing it to an apple and an asparagus a day. Although it just doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? So, convinced yet? Did all our statistics as well as consulting Foodie the Food Pyramid get you on the side of greens? What? No? Okay, time to bust out the big guns. If this doesn't convince you that you should be eating your daily dose of fruits and vegetables, we don't know what will. When you're well nourished, and that means eating all the right amounts of food as seen on Foodie the Food Pyramid, your body works in its top form. This means better memory, alertness, and you'll process information quicker. Studies have also linked a full and complete diet to higher grades in school. You want to rule the world? Start with ruling your diet. A great visual way of remembering to keep an eclectic mix of foods always entering your system is to eat the rainbow. What does this mean? Well, in essence, the color of fruits and vegetables, be it red, yellow, green, purple, or white, can mean a different aspect of your body is getting the boost it needs to be its best. So let's say you're going to eat foods from the red category, which would be red peppers, tomatoes, watermelon, cherries, and strawberries. You're helping keep your heart healthy, your blood pressure low, your skin protected, and your cells renewed. Yellow foods like corn, yellow pepper, lemons, pineapples, and squash will target your joints and tissues and keep them stronger than ever. And it will help your eyesight as well. Green means broccoli, lettuce, celery, grapes, Brussels sprouts, and peas. These help with not only your digestion, but your immune system. In addition to helping your eyesight and your bones be the best that they can be, the purple category includes eggplants, beets, blueberries, red grapes, and blackberries. These foods help with memory and keep your urinary system healthy, as well as containing anti-aging properties. Finally, we come to the foods that are the color white. These include corn, mushrooms, onions, bananas, the inside part, not the skins, cauliflower, and potatoes. Food from this category prevents ulcers, keeps your colon healthy, and lowers cholesterol. Remembering to eat the rainbow is a fun way to make sure you are all around healthy and strong, and you'll live a nice long life. Speaking of, that's not just our opinion. Studies show that people who eat five fruits and vegetables a day live an extra three years compared to those who decided to skip the greens. In fact, in Taiwan, researchers found that if people spend 50 cents a day on fruits and veggies, there would be a 10% drop in the mortality rate. Let's think about that for a second. A 10% drop in the mortality rate, and it's only two quarters a day? Are you kidding? Why are we not all doing this? It's essentially extending your life for the price of one of those rubber bouncy balls at the grocery store. Let's get it together, everyone. We can stay healthier than ever by just adding in the recommended 35% of greens that Foodie the Food Pyramid recommends. It'll keep us stronger, healthier, and happier. What are we waiting for? Well, there you have it. A look into what life would be like without fruits and veggies. Not too fun, is it? So, we say enjoy those fruits and vegetables, Brainiacs. They do your body and your mind a lot of good. And you'll keep Foodie happy too. And if Foodie's happy, well, then you're going to be happy too. Because you're eating a balanced diet with plenty of fruits and vegetables. Stay happy, healthy, and safe, Brainiacs. We'll see you next time. And for more fun and exciting science videos, be sure to check out our channel. 
and hit that like and subscribe button.